But I think you might be shocked to see how much YouTube paid me. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Jill. I am 23, currently living in Parker, Colorado for the summer. Um, I work seasonally in hospitality and I do YouTube on the side. So YouTube is slowly becoming a side hustle for me and I wanted to take some time to sit down and film a video talking about how much YouTube paid me my first month being monetized on YouTube. So if you're new here, welcome. Um, I make lifestyle content, everything from work to workouts, books, routines, just lifestyle shit. I am not like a YouTube's tips girly. I don't make videos about YouTube tips. If anything, I feel like I shouldn't be giving YouTube tips. I've been on YouTube for almost five years now and I just got monetized in July of 2024. So I have not had a quick growth to monetization. Um, it has been very much slow and steady, wins the race kind of thing. So I think you might be shocked to see how much YouTube paid me. I'm not gonna like, say if it's a lot, if it's a little, I'm just gonna tell you, we are gonna go over everything together. So I wanted to take some time to sit down. I feel like if you are like new to YouTube, if you wanna become a YouTuber, or if you're just like a nosy, nosy little person, as am I, trust. These were all the videos I was watching when I first started creating. Now that I am monetized, I am ready to share how much YouTube paid me. I'm gonna start out by just telling you like right off the bat how much YouTube paid me. I always do this when I like announce anything, I will tell you what you came here to see. And then if you wanna stay for the rest of the conversation, I'll talk about it after. But like most people are just gonna try to skip ahead to figure out when I say how much YouTube paid me. So um, we're gonna get into like the analytics, how much videos I posted, what subscriber counts I was at, and just like talk about like my journey with YouTube as a whole. Drum roll, please. YouTube paid me from July 18th, 2024, when I got monetized, so that first day, to August 18th, 2024. I can't believe it's been a month also, that's wild. YouTube paid me $42.72. That's it, that's the big number, $42.72. I feel like, I don't know if that's a lot, little for like your first month and I don't really care. All I know is I'm slowly starting to make money from doing my passion and something that I've loved for so long and I am so excited about it. I wanted to like talk about like just the analytics, the data, I guess, behind it. Um, just like what it looks like on my end just with like how many videos I posted in between the day I got monetized and the one month mark. Views for those videos, they were all different kinds of videos too. It's not like I was posting like one thing. As I said, I'm not like giving growth tips. I'm not talking about anything like that. But I do think that this is a good insight for any like lifestyle girlies out there um, because you do see on YouTube a lot, all these influencers making the big money. They're going on all these trips. They're like completely supporting themselves from doing social media. I, I did not think that like when I got monetized, I was gonna be able to like fully support myself. I didn't know what it was gonna look like. I kind of wanted to like experiment over time. I will say already though, just like adding this now to my YouTube as a whole, like it's just another thing I have to think about. YouTube's like requirements for monetization to even qualify are 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. That's how it was when I started. I think they have changed a little bit now. I should have gotten all these numbers before I started this video, but whatever. Or I know it's like 10 million views, I think, on shorts. So I don't post shorts currently. I've heard that like, you need to get into the shorts, especially if you're starting out because a lot of people like short form content. I've always been like a long form content girly. Um, so I have yet to experiment with shorts yet. So we'll see over a time to see what it adds like to my revenue. Maybe if I do like a six month update on like how much YouTube paid me and I have shorts involved, maybe we'll see, I don't know, don't quote me. Then I'll give like a better range on like how much money you can make from doing everything that YouTube has to offer. But right now I just primarily make long form lifestyle content. I've posted like three shorts total. I've made four cents from my shorts. That's how much it's contributing currently to my money. Not much, not much. I'm gonna go over with you the most money I've gotten from one video. We'll go over my lowest day. Um, we'll go over like just the days, like the highest I made at a certain day. We'll go over all of it right now. So on average, YouTube pays about $10 per 1,000 views. So it's, it's really weird to see because some days I'm making like multiple dollars and some days I'm making like under a dollar and just like a few cents per day. So in this first month, I posted eight videos. So that average is about two videos a week. I will say when I first started out for years until recently, 
I was not posting consistently and I was not posting multiple times a week. I would miss weeks. I would post multiple videos in a week. Like I was very inconsistent. And I think that like one of the biggest just like growth tips and just like YouTube tips in general is consistency. We've heard it for years. Any video you watch, doesn't matter if you niche down, if you have a niche, like the number one thing is consistency. Like YouTube wants to see you posting and using their platform. And also it does help with your subscribers knowing what days you post, what time you post, if you really wanna get specific, though they can like be loyal to you and plan their schedules around what you're doing. So all the videos I posted were very different. I posted a quarterly reset. I posted a $9,000 in debt video. That is my highest watched video currently, um, if not ever in a really long time at least. I posted a week in my life, another reset routine that was for August. I posted my Cape Town videos, which I thought those were gonna do a lot better than they did, honestly. Really, like those did worse than most of my other videos, which is a bit sad, but my most popular video by far was the $9,000 in debt, like mid-year debt update I did. This is just a topic that everybody seems to like. Currently, it's going for about 3.1 thousand views. Total from that video, I've made $19.12 this like past few days in August as well so that it didn't bring in like that much over the past few days but that does include the last couple days not just I'm filming this on the 21st so my highest paying day was Thursday July 25th I made seven dollars and 55 cents for the day um, my lowest paying day was August 12th um, I made 35 cents so that was my lowest paying day since getting monetized so Definitely ranges a lot depending on, um, I think, what you're posting, what's getting views. There were days where I was making a little over $2, days where I was making a little over $1. That definitely was pushed by my, like, I don't wanna say like viral, but that is a more viewed video of mine. My $9,000 in debt, I don't typically get 3,000 views per video. That's just not realistic for me. I still range within like the few hundred views per video, like three to 400 views. So that definitely took off. I definitely was because of the topic of being about debt and that's why it has brought in so much money because it has gotten more views some of my lowest paying videos i guess you could say for the month were my travel videos which is very shocking i thought people were going to like love watching travel videos it's very interesting because sometimes videos you think that are going to do like so well perform terribly and some videos that you think are going to perform terribly perform so well so like my debt video i was like really like no one's gonna want to watch this I, I really was not confident in the video i kind of thought it was a bit just like random but you guys really seem to like it lesson learned post the video no matter what it is because you never know um but like i said the videos i thought that were gonna get views like my pack with me video for cape town it got one dollar and 18 cents like to this day my traveling to cape town video in the past when i've done these i've hit over three thousand four thousand views on these videos this one only got 214 views and I've made 85 cents from it so it's very interesting like what used to be like one of my highest performing videos ends up being one of my lowest performing videos in that, that same topic my first Cape Town vlog has brought in a dollar one dollar and one cent to be specific that's with 272 views 25 watch hours and then my Cape Town travel the second vlog brought in 74 cents with 197 views, 18 hours of watch time. So it ranges a lot. This is what I'm learning is like, it could be so high up depending on the subject. It could be so low. It just depends. I don't really have any like advice for like what to post or like what's gonna make money. Like, I don't know. I just post what I like to post that I know that like I hope my viewers and subscribers like. I feel like posting eight videos is pretty consistent as well that's about two per week so it's not as if i wasn't being consistent i didn't really have a goal for this month either i just like wanted to see how it went i think going forward now i'll start having more financial goals and like trying to get my videos out to more people and try to cater to my audience and what they like not just for the money i do want to see like what it'll be like over the next few months though i'm wondering if like how much it'll go up or if it'll go down more i don't know in this month also i gained 82 subscribers most of them being from that like debt payoff video but i did just over time just gain subscribers my average views for the month were 7.9 thousand views that's just across my channel completely not just the most recent videos a 4.4 percent click-through rate and a 527 average view duration so i don't know 
like what this looks like compared to other people i don't know if this is good if this is bad i don't know i really am just trying to figure it out along with you my top videos for this like time period my nine thousand dollars in debt like i said my buying a new car um that gained a thousand views but that was from like last year that video has gotten me four dollars and forty cents so it's not just like the recent videos that have gotten me money it's like i turned my monetization on for my entire channel the only videos i have picked where the ads go are the ones since i got monetized all the other videos i just like let youtube decide when ads will be placed so i don't know if like there's a lot of ads on those videos i don't i don't know um maybe i feel like i should know that but i don't know i just kind of like let youtube decide i just turn monetization on for all my videos typically currently i put four ads on my videos in the last month since starting i do like one at the beginning and then every 10 minutes and then one at the end i posted on my community tab a poll to ask you guys like what you wanted and i think it was between like every 10 and 15 minutes that was like the main vote and then everybody else said they don't really care i know a few people like wanted like less ads but like i feel like a lot of my subscribers know like we're on a debt payoff journey here I'm trying to save money like you know i'm trying to make some money from this i don't have a specific goal like i said i'm just like seeing where it takes us anyway back to the most popular videos my two thousand dollar payday routine that has earned me six dollars and eighty cents you guys really seem to like that video i'm learning my financial videos are what's popping off that includes the car video that is kind of a financial video in a way because i did speak about finances and i just got really detailed into the new car buying process the week in my life that got me one dollar and 81 cents see so now we're like going down a lot and then the final like popular video in this time period in this month was my pack with me for vacation that video generated one dollar and 18 cents definitely ranges a lot there are other videos like before the last month that have gotten views as well um not a ton um my most popular ones were my like big financial videos or my car buying video that i'm not even shocked about because those just in general have been generating more views even before i got monetized so i wasn't shocked that they were also bringing me money when i finally am monetized because i did turn the monetization on so the day i got monetized i had 1302 subscribers this is actually a pretty slow growth month i feel like on august 18th i had 1377 subscribers so that's 82 subscribers in the month i feel like that's a pretty slow growth lately for me just based on other months compared to other months like i said though this took me four years to hit so i am in no rush to get to a certain point but i do want to share because i feel like a lot of like newer youtubers or smaller lifestyle youtubers you don't see what the lifestyle girlies are making but like you know they're out there making good money um but this just shows that like you're not gonna hit it right away or if you do that's great but not everybody hits it right away i started my youtube channel and like it was i started posting in november 2019 um and then like i said i was inconsistent all up until like the last year and a half i would say i um, mean even then i was still kind of inconsistent so um it's taking me a lot of time to get to this point only in the last few months have i really started gaining traction from my youtube also i don't think i said this the payment threshold is 100 dollars to get a youtube payout so i'm not even halfway there to like get to that point where i am getting my first like paycheck so it takes some time i mean everybody's different i've watched these videos and some people have like really top performing videos within that month and they do really well some people don't at all i think i'm like right in the middle because i had a video that like went a bit more i don't want to say viral because 3,000 views is not viral but like for my content that popped off well compared to like my lowest performing videos for this like time period um so i think this was a really good look into like some of the lowest money you can make or like some of the highest money i've made i'm really curious to see where we'll go how much we'll do over the next few months i will keep you updated like i said it took me four years to get to this point i think that now that i'm more consistent i will keep going up but i think that it took me a long time to get to this point um i don't know if that does affect maybe some lower views over time on my channel because i was so inconsistent for so long or if it's just the videos aren't good so people don't like them i i don't know i really don't know right now i'm taking my time to experiment with my channel i'm like trying out new things i'm trying out new content i'm trying financial videos book videos trying work videos week in my life reset routines travel vlogs like i'm kind of doing all 
different things right now so we're just gonna see over time and i will keep you updated on this but that is it for how much youtube paid me in my one month these are some of my top videos performing for the month it's my highest days my lowest days if you all enjoyed this video definitely subscribe in a few months we'll go over what youtube paid me for my maybe i'll do three months maybe i'll do six months who knows but this was how much youtube paid me as a small lifestyle youtuber so hope you enjoyed this video love you all and i'll see you in the next one